Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Danganronpa. Trigger Happy Havoc. So, uh, we were heading into the cafeteria after falling asleep with that sauna thing, and we're worried that everyone's going to be dead now. Well, specifically Taka and Mondo, or at least one of them. Worried about the two of them, I heard to the dining hall more quickly than usual, and when I entered... Nope, they're both there. Bah -ha -ha -ha. What are you talking about, bro? Gah -ha -ha. What are you talking about, bro? Okay, Tur Okay, is this like fake friendship? Like, are they really mad at each other, or are they like actual happy with each other? What the? Hey, Makoto! Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Huh? Are they friends now? They've been like this all morning. They're all buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. What? Feels gross? Hell no. Feels great. More like it. <laughs> this is almost like sexual harassment somehow. <laughs> Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. You hear me? Friendship between men is a stronger than blood. A woman can never understand. <laughs> okay, then. Ain't that right. What you just said? Bro, that was cool as shit. I could just could get a tattoo of it. No, bro, you mustn't. Your mom is a temp. We'll give it to you by your loving parents. So, um, who won the contest? Piece of shit. Who gives a shit? Yeah, don't ask super questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Oh. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I think this is just a special case. <laughs> all throughout breakfast, all throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. Oh gosh, what have we stumbled upon? So what should I do today? Ding dong. Hmm, who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. This is the last person I expected to force their way into my room. What do you want? I can't let myself turn away from Sayakia's death. For Sayakia and for myself. Oh, I clicked on her, you idiot. D Toko? What's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so, so surprised? Am I really that annoying? <laughs> well, well, I already know I'm annoying. I just came here to knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wonder what was going on. <laughs> I have a f f favor to ask. I want you to g go somewhere with me. <laughs> Reaction. And where do you want to go? Oh, well, the library. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Miyakia? He spends all his time at the library anyway. <laughs> did, did I say something wrong? You're not a blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> then let's g go to the library. Okay, I got it. The library. Jeez, why so pushy? <laughs> quiet. Be quiet when you g go in. Don't l let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. <laughs> He's really here. Oh gosh. Okay, Makoto, go talk to him. What? Why? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. Yeah, just go up to him. Hey, Byakuya, I got some math problems, you know. <laughs> you go talk to him if you want to so bad. Yeah, exactly. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. Hi there. You have a stalker that wants me to talk for them. He seems to be really focused on that book. He doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having a look at you. Ah, so you noticed me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. Hmm. And to take her with you. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, Yakia? 
Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates, don't be a woman who dominates with weak men, be a woman dominated by a strong man? When did you say this? I didn't, yeah, I never said that. That's exactly what I was thinking. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Oh gosh, he's doing the whole kind of thing. Actually, I can't even, I don't think you can see. Um, did that show up on the webcam? Maybe. Get out. And go take a bath. You smell. Don't make me, don't make me say it again. Go now, before you cinch latches into, onto the entire room. Yeah. Okay. We got a Yandre situation. We got a Yandre situation. He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She's super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Biakia, to go that far. <laughs> he must be r really concerned about me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Shrek. Oh, we do got a Yandre. That's what it's called, right? I think so. Huh? <laughs> he told he told me to t take a bath and everything. Must be really care about my well-being. Hey, M Mikado, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Bubiake and I would be good together? Um. Uh, well, now uh, I don't really know. That's true, there's really no way to know. But the distance between us, it doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your fee feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. Mm. Oh, oh my. Oh, okay. <laughs> There might come a day when you, you understand. Maybe someday. Well, bye. <laughs> ah, young glow. <laughs> Who would have ever guessed you would go for someone like him? But eager passion can always be also be scary. Sometimes that leads the people off in the wrong direction. <laughs> you better not murder someone before Biaki. Like, someone's going to be like... I don't know, Mondo or someone's just gonna like, s like offhandly slight or like insult Byakuya, and then she's gonna go freaking murder on them. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. No one gonna barge their way in this time? Oh, free time? Yes, please. I shall talk with the first person I come across in the hallways. It's Yifubi! I feel as if... Ah, Mr. Nagi, I'm glad you came. Hmm, should I hang out with Yifubi for a while? Heck yes! Mm -hmm. I know I look like I'm all about the cutting edge, but I have a profound love for retro games too. Let's begin my four-part history of electronic games. Part 1, Ancient Babylonia. Oh my gosh. I listened to Hifumi's half-obsessed ranting. Heck yeah. Hifumi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hifumi a present? Yes. For sure. Do you want some potato chips, Hifumi? Er, I mean, I, I guess it's okay. Anyways, if you wanted to hang out for a while, seeing Hifumi so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Now then, this time would you like to learn about one of my mini legends? Your legends? Naturally, you don't become the ultimate fanfic creator without a few legends sprouting up around you. One such legend is how in middle school I was able to convince the school to create a fanfic club. That's not exactly like a legendary thing to do. Like, anyone can do that. Well, not anyone, but like most schools would allow you to do something. And from that day, I exposed myself and my fanfic to the world at large. <laughs> oh gosh. By the way, do you happen to know what all my work is based on? Sorry, no idea. Yes, well, surely you've heard of the highly acclaimed anime <laughs> Demon Angel Pretty Pudge Pretty Pudgy Princess. <gasps> I have something for you. Now, you might think that sounds totally cliche, but you 
you would be wrong. I gotta say, that anime title does not sound cliche. <laughs> I didn't simply copy the pretty girl princess pickles style. I took a total meta sci-fi approach. My perspective was seen as quite odd, of course, but really look what I was doing. My version of Princess Pickles was a total antithesis of the new wave of sci-fi music mo movement. In fact, it was my response to J.G. Ballard's obsessed speculative fiction stylings. <laughs> ah, my geekdom is leaking out again, I apologize. Anyway, unlike most fans, I never saw Princess Pickles as your typical mo anime. Anyway, yeah, I definitely got that impression. But I can't believe you were- oh. But I can't believe you were able to single-handedly persuade the school to let you make a club. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's because I bribed them with a cut of my profits. Bribery, eh? Profits? <laughs> yeah, I've only gotten better at it. I'm blowing up. Now then, up till now, I'm always focused on taking part in Princess Pagel's single-setting events. Single-setting? Mm -hmm. It's when a circle gets together to come up with a project or event focused on only one show or series. So Princess Pickles' single hand setting event would only allow work involving Princess Pickles, see? On the flip side, if there's no restriction on the number of properties, do you know what that's called? A single setting event only... So a multi-setting event. Dude, a fan jam. Heck yeah. Oh, is it like a fan jam or something? <laughs> This is why I hate newbies. Perhaps you're thinking of game jams, which, while interesting, are indie belt that's specific. Get it right or pay the price. Uh, okay. A free for all? That's absolutely right! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I was about to get murdered. There's actually plenty of free for all events every year, and yet. More and more slackers are showing up with no idea what fanfic really means. It's so annoying. So in order to crush these peons with all my might, I'm going to start taking part in more free-for-all. Crush them? That doesn't sound very friendly. I don't participate in these events to make friends, and I cannot forgive those lazy bastards. And don't tell me to ignore them. If you let some little wimp survive, you'll regret it later. Play the RPG where the villain spares the hero when he's level 1, and what happens? Boom! Dead. I kind of get it, but I kind of don't. I get it. If you let the he main villain survive, or main hero survive, you end up dead. It's just a thing. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog industry where only the most brutal survive. But don't worry, I'm gonna start you off easy by getting you involved in some simple cosplay action. What? Huh? I wanna get involved? Wait, did you say cosplay? You're a pretty good-looking guy. If your costume was decent enough, I might even let you work my booth. <laughs> I bet you could even net yourself a magical girl or <laughs> so, with that in mind, let's change the world of fanfic together. What does that even mean? Woo! <laughs> I probably looked like I was running away as I went back to my room. Hmm. Alright. That's too much. It's already nighttime? Oh, I guess the event with Toko took up time. Announcement, school announcement. Oh. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, what? all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Emergency! Emergency! I, uh, gather in the gym? Why not? Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. One better be murdered. Bye there, Kyoko. Okay. Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? right? I can't imagine it's going to be good news. But it's not a good idea to find him here now. Goodbye. So I'm going to go on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokuma tells me. Hiding? No. It's a Mondo. Yo. Hey, man. You about to head in? Yeah. Has everyone else already gone ahead? <laughs> Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing's good's gonna come from ignoring that goddamn bear. Uh, Mondo? 
Are you sure you're okay? You kind of went all out in that sauna. What? Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. Yo. But, you know, <laughs> they're at the edge of hell. A promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. Yo. Anyway, let's go get our asses into the gym. Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. Uh. Alright. We shall be on our way to the gym. Where is the gym? The gym's this way. We're going to the gym. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Oh, wait. This isn't the gym. Hey, it's a Fumi, my boy. Hey, Fumi, how come you haven't gone in yet? Why? 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 Yeah. Why is Mr. Nai, you don't scare me like that. Sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. Damn, that's true too. I, I guess we have no choice. I have to go too. <laughs> that <laughs> defeated derpiness. Hmm, asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this? What could he possibly want? Well. Indeed, what might us wait us this time? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. Um. How's that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how, like the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode. What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up, hmm? Huh? Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here, living in a blind denial day after day. Hm. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whatever would come help us? How'd that turn out? Seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well... Th that's just... Huh? I wonder what's actually happened. Certainly. It's strange. That's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck. <laughs> Fooby. <laughs> hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may just be that powerful to take control of even the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, go to say it. It's, it's about like last night. I was near the main hall just staring off into space when all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound of that. I don't really know what it was. Hmm. What kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, it, it was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site? I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely, barely heard anything. Then you d definitely made it up. It must have just been the sound of the ocean that the head of yours. Hey, that's Aoi. She's the one with empty, but nothing but water. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? It's Mono. Hey, this scene looks familiar. <sighs> He's arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? Yeah. Or maybe a machine gun. <laughs> that can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? Ha <laughs> beyond that point, this point my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed, I am fully puckered. He ate the lemons. It's a secret little secret. And? Fine then, let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us here? You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitch is even losing all the signage luster. I'm thinking it's probably because of this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something a little more stimulation, something rife with danger and intrigue. Yeah. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, the next Blacken hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey, so I've um, decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Oh man. Are you gonna show s the mented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not gonna kill each other anymore. 
No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Hmm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So, this time it's... Embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And those, and those embarrassing oh memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I want to know everyone's secrets. I'm going secret. to hand them out now. So take a second to. Take Should we white seat. elephant and everyone gets like a different secret? As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. <laughs> Mikado wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. What? Oh. How? Yeah. How did you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become black and by then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrass embarrassingest, embarrassingest, this embarrassingest, that's not a word. Secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah! yeah wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate. <laughs> yup, you got it. There are still pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we never kill over something like that. What? What'd you say? Count on it. He's right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. Uh oh no. Is it because for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other all this stuff? That just sucks. <laughs> He's trying to <laughs> get emotions for on his side. Well, what can he do? Okay, then in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad. So depressed. Fair not well. <laughs> With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma proceeded into the gym's depths. So, um, I d d didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one? Um, I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing, but... That's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me. Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. Me? Why don't we just all confess the secrets in those envelopes right here, right Get now? If out. we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen. Okay, so my most my embarrassing thing is <laughs> I don't want you to hear your stupid st story. <laughs> what? <laughs> he probably got a B on his report card, and that is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to him. Besides, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't c care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. As for me, neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on. It's come okay, on. just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly. I, s as I said. Here come, we on, go. come on, come on, come on, come on. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. <sighs> oh man, the second time I've seen the uh, angry Celeste. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Shihiro? Uh, I'm uh, sorry. Sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but, but I also don't want to leave the thing that things the way they are. So maybe I can talk about it later, after I try my best to become strong. Then I can tell everyone. So, you don't um, want to talk. You don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone that much against it, even if my bros didn't want that suggestion, I gotta say no. <laughs> well, well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. Secrets so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? <laughs> Toko's secret is, uh, she likes Biakia. <laughs> <laughs> and she doesn't want that to get revealed. <laughs> and it's gonna go all yandere. Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... You hear me? Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't gonna be fun, but it's not like we're gonna die because of it. Mm. So, you know, uh, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh, 
Uh, okay, sorry, I know it's gonna be tough, but. Ding a da dong and bing bong. It's nighttime. <coughs> this is a school announcement. Uh huh. It's now 10 p.m. Time for sleep. But soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. Okay then. Oh boy. Hmm. Nighttime already, huh? Okay, let's call the day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left in an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but. We left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Our okay, never mind. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why that too much of a struggle. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep, but what I didn't know was that, ev that even then, a tragedy was taking place. No. I was right. Toko is, is, is murdering folks. Maybe murdering Byakuya, <laughs> so no one knows her true love. <laughs> hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world of attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't even understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone kills someone in the heat in the moment, but surprisingly, you can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, and then put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions leave you. It's all about preparation for us all. So maybe you're wondering what's the point I'm trying to make. Well, well I'm not nope. totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. I mean, to be fair, I think uh, Leon killed in the heat of the passion, while Sayakia tried to do it with, I don't know, practical stuff. I have like a vial of soap next to me right now, and it's weird because it's like, has a bunch of bubbles in it. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's like a... I have like a vial of soap. Can you see this? Does this show up? I don't know. I think it looks cool. Why I may have a vial of soap, you may ask? Because I'm bringing it on vacation. Because I don't trust soap from other places. Morning! Good... Good... good mor Who's saying good morning? Good oh. morning! Hi there. Do I? <laughs> up, up, up! Nice reaction. I'm glad you didn't disappoint. <laughs> what? What are you doing here? Yep. I want to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun. Hmm. As long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? Are you sure you should be acting like this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates? What? Well, who? Whoa, 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 what? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> Ooh, that's for you, for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. Something happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No. It can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No, what ifs are pointless. Especially now, when the dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Okay. Ah, Makoto. Uh, um, Are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hida, Sakura, and Byakuya. You're the only ones here. Where's everyone else? Hmm. Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they're falling victim to the something that Monokuma's mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder. After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um. so, so, if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be! That stuff was just a bunch of old memories! Hm. Just old memories? Don't to be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? 
to judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? <laughs> Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good does it do to me to get out of my way to help you? Just Stop what? saying that already. Uh, There's um... something wrong with him. That for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. Hmm. This game, the game is afoot. The game is afoot. There's a foot. Oh my gosh. Uh. Hi there. So I knocked on all the doors, but nobody answered. Did they all get to see? Did they all go to see what happened? Oh. What about the second floor of the school? That's a place that's new to all of us, so it seems like the natural place for... For murder. I'm not going to I explore... Gotta do some exploration. Hi there. Yo. Hey, Mikado. Honestly, what do you think? Huh? About what? About Byakuya. You know, he's being brainwashed or what? I... I don't know. You know more about that kind of thing than me, right? <gasps> what? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you're some kind of psychic, right? Hey. Listen, Mikado, I think you completely misunderstand what it is I do. Okay? Listen, fortune telling is like... Well? It's totally different from brainwashing or hypnosis or any of that pseudo-scientific bullcrap. <sighs> I need you to understand that. So you expect me to think fortune telling isn't pseudoscience? Sorry, but I don't want to get yelled at. Okay then, upstairs we go. Okay, I, I'll check from this way, and head backwards. Not in here. What about the library? Oh, wait, no, Byakuya was downstairs. <laughs> I have... Hmm. There's nothing of interest, don't you agree? You should go look somewhere else. What if I want to go in there? Hmm. Hey, there's nothing worthwhile over there. I've already checked, so there can be no mistake. You're hiding something in there. I can feel it. I doubt it's in the restroom. Did someone get thrown into the pool? Hmm. Alright, to the pool we go! Huh? The door's open, but aren't these supposed to be locked? 6 a.m. on that. For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Well, thank you. Please look around. To your heart's content. <gasps> I can visit the girls' locker room. Yes. Eh, investigation? It's all clear. Just as I thought. Biagia? Judging see. from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. C come on. The locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. He was muttering up talking only to himself. Without waiting for, a waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girl's locker room. I guess he's also curious. And the door swung open without a sound. And that moment, time seemed to freeze. No! Okay. Um. I'm quite confused. Okay. What? I don't know how long it took me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at, but as soon as I did. <laughs> Wild almost prime. Meveal scream escaped from my mouth. Be fair, if I saw someone strung up like that, I would also probably scream.
deadly life. We are now done with the daily life. I tried to suppress my scream, but it was useless. It surged out of me like water from spring gushing out of the ground. Viakia, on the other hand, is poking and prodding. Very Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally common, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of the TV screen. I see. Look, Shishira's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust? Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hm. No, that's not my point. This murder was far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Siakia, this murder is not a crime of passion or necessity. Hm. Some if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still re reeling too. I was still reeling, too confused to understand what was trying to happen. Before I could even begin to clear my head. What the heck? Hey, I heard a scream. Did something. <laughs> Jihiro! Mm hmm. Hi there, Monica. A body has been discovered! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, it has. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Oh boy. What the hell was that? What? Ah, that's right. You were unconscious during Siakia's. So you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently when three or more people discover a body announcement, plays will let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discovery announcement? The Drahira really is... Metroid. Dead, yes. D -d 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 before you start screaming your head off, go around and everyone up. Seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Very analytical. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all passed. It was like my scene of time had my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Shihiro's body. Damn. Damn. I couldn't keep her safe. So, there's another victim. Which means we are now in the same position once again. Fuck, man. What the fuck is this? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's going a little too far, man. Shut up. Yeah, okay. So that's the murder weapon, obviously. No, there are more important things to worry about right now than a dump dump bell. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to Oh, can I not talk to I guess I'll examine this. Hmm. For now, pay attention to the wall. Huh? I said it once already, there's a word written there. On the wall? I mean yeah. The word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. So I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. <laughs> but you know, that thing about writing bloodlust in blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? A murderer schemes who kills again and again using a bizarre, brutal method. At the scene of each crime, the word bloodlust is written on in the victim's own blood. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly and then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. What, what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack! Genocide Jack, the murderer of Speed, whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murder of Speed, creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. What is this? Then, this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. The real? Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! The, there's no way! Mm. But going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I am surprised at their stupidity. Well. I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Uh. Ah! <laughs> what is it now? Toko! What? He just pointed to enter to the girls' locker room. <laughs> ah! Ah! She was just standing there. 
Why? 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 Oh yeah, she doesn't like blood, right? Kadunk. She fainted. That did not sound good. Oh, Toko! Ida rushed over to collapse Toko and started trying to shake her awake. To Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up. Oh, that's right. I just remember what she said about how she faints every any time she sees blood. Oh. So she is hemophobic. I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. Uh, um. This isn't a violation of rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her own room. No, I think it should be okay. The regulations prohibit it sleeping, like on purpose. Mm. Ah, so since she didn't faint on purpose, it doesn't count. Gotcha. Just a second. Toki, can you hear? Can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up. As if she'd heard her. Toka suddenly shot awake. She literally jumped up from where she was laying. Such a strange reaction. I was at a total loss for words. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. She just straight up have a stroke. <laughs> Alright then. In no time flat, she was just standing up. Ignoring the physical contortions she had to go through, her emotions were totally haphazard. Huh. What? Sorry about that. I was just so shocked. Y you know, it happens, right? Was I the only one? Toka, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, was that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? <laughs> what the heck? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. <laughs> the world has a front and a back, a top and a bottom, a sea of truth and a web of lies. This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, 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 everything's fine. At least the stutter's all gone. <laughs> gone mint, maniacal. So that's a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I see. It's clear to me that everyone is not fine. Everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. Mm. Might be best if we take her back to her room for a time being. So, um, I don't mind taking her back, but could someone help me? Mm -hmm. If you need help, I don't mind. No. Um, <laughs> Taka, <laughs> could you <he> help me? <laughs> huh? She's totally <laughs> ignore me. Yeah, fool me up. <laughs> Not, sorry to say, you're just not trusted in that mm. way. Very well. You take care of the girl, and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Huh. Hold on a second. Rushing to an investigation? Hm. The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. <laughs> Don't make me There's no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. Hm. Is that right, Monokuma? Right as rain, but don't take it as a bad thing. It's just a fact of life because that's how graduation works Then it's happened again Is that what you're saying that another one of us Another one of us killed a fellow classmate What does that what does that freak you out you guys got no balls you know that is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. Yeah! Actually, I don't have any. S either. Sorry. Stop, Stop monologuing. You us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? Hey, 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 I sure did, chum. Allow me to present the next Monokuma file. I know how much you must be looking forward to it. So please do your very tippy-top best on this investigation. No way. Do we really got to do another investigation? Yes. Examining the corpse of one of our friends, having to suspect all the other, f other friends. Why? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Oh, I hate it too. No. Ah, I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Hey. Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Such just shit. accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about all this, are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. The, that's true, but to jump into it so soon? What? What? Do you want to die? Such Fine, then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. Damn a you. dead body is an object? Shahira wasn't an object. Show a little respect or I'll beat you some into you. Calm down. Everyone, stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byakuya said. Kyoko? We don't solve the mystery and find the killer. Our own lives are for it, but... And if Byakuya is right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who kills Chihiro, That's right. then unless we do something more, victims could start piling up. What? Forget more victims! If we mess this up, we're all dead beat! Hey! Hey! Hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. 
In one killing game, the guilty party might only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? huh? I don't remember any rule like that. Absolutely. I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be all over, right? The rule has been added to the regulations menu. So In that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey, um, well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. Yeah. <laughs> Just one total murder that possibly. Farewell for, for now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. Hmm. I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. <laughs> Which is definitely not good. We need to cover the troll before something else happens. You, son of a bitch. you need to shut the fuck up. Oh, um, well, for now, Taka and me are going to drop Toko off at her room. Um, nice! I'm going to get yeah. dropped off! <laughs> She's just straight up there drunk. Is nothing to be done. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation. Tot sweet. If we do not miss solve the mystery of who killed your hero, okay? then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Oh, that was a lot of reading. Whew. Well, we got another dead body. That's pretty neat. <laughs> fun stuff, fun stuff. First of all, better check the Monokuma file to see exactly what's going on. The victim was Shihiro Fujisaki. The time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. Body was discovered in the girls' locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. The truth below the section of your handbook. Hmm. Hey, Mikado, do you have a second? Huh? Did you need something for me? Naturally. Of course, life without a purpose is quite dull, you know? Um, so what do you need? I'm gonna let you cooperate with me during my investigation. Huh? What? I'm purchasing your talent, the same talent which allowed you to solve Siakia's case. Is it solve? No, I just... Stop you seem to have some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. So, you're inviting me to come with you? You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, though. Let's go. Now then, shall we get started? But, but we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened. Wait, but there's stuff in the dress game in this locker room. Like, first off, what's that poster doing in the girls' restroom? Unless that was already there. But that one was in uh, the other room. Also, secondly, I have two suspects in mind. Either the... Uh, I can either guess Taka... Bondo or the Marshall gosh, is it Sakura? Is that, is that the I think that's the yeah, Sakura and guess those because the killing object was obviously a weight and let me tell you I feel like either Taco, Mondo, or Sakura are the only ones that can lift that and also to string up someone I don't know hey, maybe Sakura is Genocide Jack we never know but it looks like I'll be working with Byakuya on this one. How heavy is it? There's a dumbbell on the floor, and this is a blood stain. There's a blood stain on the dumbbell. Hmm. The Monokuma file says a blow to the head with a blunt object is what killed her. Does that mean this dumbbell is actually the murder That's weapon? Right. I don't imagine it could have been anything else. Nice! Okay. Suppose you got some blood and must have happened during the murder. Maybe not, I don't know. Written on the wall in the blood. What's the meaning behind it? I feel life draining out of my body own body. It's a dead body. Chihiro's dead body. But the more I look, the more strange it all seems. This must be Genocide Jack's handiwork. Well, but what? But we're still not sure he did it. Is that what you want to say? <laughs> I wonder about that. <laughs> Do any of y'all have anything to say? She took her time examining the Chihiro's corpse. She poked and prodded going at her every inch of the lifeless body. Hmm. You're a very strange woman, you know? Being able to touch dead body with absolutely no trouble. Even Biagia has some limits. She used to be concentrating pretty hard. It's like she can't even hear us. I use... Yeah, it is Sakura. Okay. I use this locker room all the time. Now it's become the site of Chihiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, 
If you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else than carried here. She was very light, that is true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, but still. I still think she came here on her own, by choice. What makes you say that? She's been talking a lot lately about how she wanted to get stronger. But you're saying she came here to exercise? But according to the Monokuma file, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. Would she really been exercising that late? Perhaps. Hino or myself are usually in the locker room during the day, so she was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? Mm. Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. So I can only assume that she's trying to avoid us. And then instead she came to exercise in the middle of the night? However. Perhaps, but it's difficult for me to imagine she would have come alone. She did want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. So you're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret. But then she would also have come with someone else. Hmm. It's a possibility, I think. Sakura's account has been added to the truth bullet section. Dude had a real complex about being weak. You heard her talk about it, right? Oh, I need to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Yeah. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. But does she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't all that strong. Yeah. I don't know, man. Haven't really thought about that stuff. Constitute complex. I can't help wondering what it might be. Mondo's account has been ticked. <laughs> now I believe it's about time for us to move on. Huh? Already? What? New clothes won't magically appear by standing around here. We need to check out every aspect of this case. That's true. <gasps> Where are we going to go to the records room or the library and research? Let's go. If you're satisfied, hurry up and proceed. Still push you. Or are we going to the boys' locker room? <laughs> so then, our next location. Huh, this place is related to the investigation. <laughs> Figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? I mean, here, obviously. Hmm. That's not even the scene of the crime, idiot. Okay. But, like, it's right next door. Hmm. More to check here? The minigun? Maybe the gun was used? No, impossible. That which here would be riddled with holes. There's a bunch of different pool-related items. Trying to figure out what we should check out. Where we should check out without my help. I don't know. Hmm. The camera? Oh, the key card! Uh, but we're gonna just go through this. Is this what you want? If I remember right, this key card reader is meant to work with our handbooks, right? What? Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with Monokuma. He said that, then quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Did you call for you me? Called for me? Has she been domesticated? That's right. It seems like Mikado has a question for you. You need some? Sure, what's up? Gosh, dude, Byaki has domesticated Monokuma. <laughs> That's having a little Monokuma pet that would be cool though. Just have a little waddling around. I don't know, I'd love that. Um, well, it's just about this card reader. Yep. Yes, the card readers have all been designed for first each of your e-handbooks. You only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. <laughs> and it's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? Unbelievable. If there was some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl, the ceiling mounted gatling gun would initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter. Operation Swiss <laughs> Cheese. Has school regulation prohibit anyone from lending someone else their handbook, correct? Of course. Correct, correct. So then, that only means only girls in the girls' locker room, and only boys can go in the boys' locker room. In other words, Shihiro's body being found in the girls' locker room means... <laughs> hey, Mikado, I can see right through you. See right through me? <laughs> Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since Shihiro was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. So in other words, As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? Such Good ignorant. lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? <laughs> you should pay closer attention to regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-book, e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. <laughs> I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of the noble Togami family. So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations? Hmm. Knowing you, I would bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. 
you're treating me like a puny little appetizer said the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore, they're things. Yep. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. You're saying that's a loophole, but in order to borrow someone from something for someone, then that means someone would have to loan it, so... Uh... Why so sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Byakuya and get your poop together. Or else I'll charge you with your criminal negligence. No more questions. Figure out the rest on your own damn self. Well, I know you're unfortunately lacking in mental facilities, so I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main hall. The main hall? I'll help you understand what's going on. The card reader's been added to the truth bullet section. Why are we here? Uh, I'm gonna have to pause this investigation. It is time for me to end this episode here. So, thank y'all so much for watching. Um... Uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We may or may not get to the class trial tomorrow. It depends how fast I can get through this investigation. How many truth bolts we got? We have five. I think we get up to like 12 or something like that. At least that's how many were in the last... Where's our 15? There was either 12 or 15 truth bullets last uh, trial. But yeah, thank y'all and uh, adios. Thank you.